Hey guys, it's me again, Mary, and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we will be doing another unboxing and quick review. Pero before we proceed to the unboxing, I would like to thank the Amersoft company for sponsoring today's video. Amersoft, guys, is a company na gumagawa ng mga software and applications. But this time, we will be talking about specifically yung iTube software nila. iTube is a piece of useful software that helps you convert and transfer videos between Android and iOS devices. You can actually download HD video from 10,000 video sites. Pwede ka rin mag-private mode to download a video ng patago, guys. And also, ito pa yung favorite ko, guys. It can also screen record your video calls like yung sa Skype. FaceTime, and many more. And also, ito yung pinaka-helpful, I think, para sa akin is you can download and convert YouTube to MP3 without any quality loss. And lastly pala, guys, you can transfer videos to iOS and Android. So, don't worry, guys. I'll be putting down below yung kanilang link. Yes, finally, nandito na yung ating Infinix S4. And pasensya na, guys, kung medyo natagalan ako sa pag-upload. Kasi ang tagal nang dumating actually ng phone. Probably provincial ako, kaya siguro matagal yung shipping. But anyway, this is only like 6,999 pesos. Imagine that. Tapos yung specs niya guys, eto, babasahin ko sa inyo ah. It has 64 gigabytes of internal storage with 6 gig of RAM with 4,000 milliamp hour battery capacity and 3 pole camera. Imagine, 7,000 pesos lang yung cellphone mo, pero tatlo na yung camera mo. So, I'm very curious sa phone na to actually. So, without further ado, let us proceed to the unboxing. So, andito na yung ating mahiwagang cutter, finally. Come on! <laughs> Hirap. Wait lang, guys. Ayan, naalis ko na. After like, how many seconds? Ang hirap guys, ha? medyo mahigpit. Anyway, so we have here the phone itself. In fairness, ha? kakaiba yung like yung setup niya. If you guys didn't know, yung Infinix like S3 yata yung last year, hindi ko siya na-unbox. So, yep, it is my first time. And hindi niya sakop yung buong box. Ayan, may parang box pa siya dito. Kaya akala ko malaki yung phone. So, eto na. Before we proceed to the phone, guys, let's see muna kung ano yung mga kasama niya inside. Ito yata guys yung customer service card nila and I think it's for the warranty. I think para dun yun. So hindi ako masyadong sure. So we have here a smaller box and nakikita ko guys agad yung ating panundot and it's actually a square one. I think first time ko makakita ng ganito. Ganyan yung itsura guys ng ating panundot or yung ating SIM card ejector. Okay, so hindi pala warranty card yung una kong pinakita sa inyo guys. So this is how it looks like. Ito yung warranty card pala. We also have a manual and a lot of paperwork. Some daming papel na kasama ha. So guys, yung mga papel na kasama. <laughs> and we have a free jelly case. And meron din tayong screen protector. So meron tayong power adapter. And we also have a micro USB cable. And we also have earphones. I didn't really expect to like receive an earphone for a price point na like 7,000. So Kompletong kompleto yung accessories ni Infinix, guys. May jelly case, may free screen protector, earphones, micro USB cable, and also the power adapter. So, I think sa box pa lang, yung laman pa lang nun, sulit na. Sobrang satisfying. Ito pa, guys. Meron pang isa. By the way, guys, the color that I got is Nebula Blue. And sobrang ganda niya kasi it's actually a combination of blue sa bandang taas. And then, may, may pagka-black siya sa bandang baba. And meron siyang glitter effect na hindi ko ma-justify sa camera ko kasi nga D7X Mark to lang to. But I swear, kapag may kita niyo siya in like in person, sobrang mamahalan ng itsura niya. Ito yung mga first impression ko, guys, ha? And I'll try my best na ilapit yung camera para makita niyo talaga na Ang ganda ng effect ng pagka glitters niya. But I think it is also available in purple and black. Pero buti na lang ito yung pinili kong kulay. Sobrang unique niya, guys. Tingnan nyo. By the way, guys, itong phone na to pala is the successor of the Infinix S3 from last year. Sinabi ko sa inyo kanina na sobrang excited ako na mahawakan yung phone. Kasi gusto ko malaman kung ano nga ba, like, yung yung hype sa kanya. Kasi sobrang hype ng phone na to. Sa mga hindi nakakaalam, it's all over Facebook, it's all over um, Twitter, it's all over YouTube. 
Ang dami na nag-unbox ng phone na to, pero excited pa rin ako. And syempre, hindi lang ako sa physical appearance excited. I wanna see the inside. I wanna see the user interface. I wanna see kung okay ba siya for gaming. I wanna see how good the camera is. Kaya, binuksan ko na guys, agad-agad. And I'll be giving you an overall tour after ko siya i-set up. So, in front, we have a 6.2 HD plus display with 19 by 9 aspect ratio. And it actually has 720 by 1520 pixels. And at the back of the phone, we have a triple camera. And I think ito yung isa sa mga reasons kung bakit hype na hype siya. So, unang-una guys, we have 8 megapixel for the depth sensor. And then, pangalawa, we have 13 megapixel for the primary camera. And lastly, we have 2 megapixel for the ultra-wide lens. And also, what I noticed guys is yung notch niya, water drop na siya. And it actually houses a 32 megapixel front camera and the speaker. And yung pagka water drop notch pala niya guys is a first sa Infinix S series. Kasi yung previous yung S3 is yung notch niya is yung pag ano, like yung sa iPhone. Yung water drop notch kasi guys, it lets you have more utility and notification icons. And meron pa rin tayong chin sa ilalim ha, hindi siya nawala guys. Pero compared to the S3 last year, medyo trim down na siya ng konti. Also, sa ilalim ng triple camera, meron po tayong LED flash, the fingerprint scanner, and the Infinix logo sa ilalim ng scanner. And then on the rightmost part of the phone, we have the power and lock button and the volume rockers. And then on the leftmost part of the phone, we have a dual 4G light nano SIM plus SD card. On the display, it has a great viewing angle and actually it's quite responsive to type on. Siyempre, hindi mawawala yung pag-test natin ng fingerprint scanner. Let's see kung responsive ba siya. Now, I know you guys saw how fast this phone responds. Actually, pwedeng pwede na siya for its price. Pero mas nagustuhan ko yung fingerprint scanner. I think it's more responsive and it's more safe. And actually, it is one of the most inexpensive smartphone na merong face unlock and fingerprint scanner. So, sobrang bilib ako sa mga features ng phone na to na pinapakita sa akin ngayon na. It has the Android 9 Pie with XOS 5.0. For the chipset, it has the MediaTek Helio P22 with 6GB of RAM and 64GB of internal storage. Lastly, for the battery, it has 4,000 mAh battery capacity. Now, I know you guys heard all of those specs, pero medyo meron lang ako na pa, mm, na reaction after hearing those. And it is the chipset. Meron lang na siyang MediaTek Helio P22 at alam natin na hindi siya ganun kaganda especially for gaming. But don't worry, I will test this phone kung okay rin ba siya for gaming kahit pa paano since it has 6GB of RAM. I played PUBG in default settings and the Power VR 8320 is able to handle the graphics very well. I actually experienced lag while launching intense apps katulad nga nung Asphalt 9. Actually, yung Mobile Legends, hindi siya ganun na naglalag compared to the other phones na merong MediaTek Helio P22 pero meron lamang 3GB of RAM. Kaya mas okay pa rin itong Infinix S4 kahit na MediaTek Helio P22 nga lang siya. <music> quality is not the best kapag nahawakan nyo na siya. May mga budget phones kasi na pag hinawakan mo, it felt like it's a premium phone kahit hindi. Ito kasi, hindi talaga. Fairness, the Infinix S4 is a great starter especially for students and magpapasokan na. You guys need a phone and kung may phone ka man na medyo mamahala na hindi mo pwedeng that's cool, then you can buy the Infinix S4. Camera is pretty much decent. Pwede na. Um, hindi ko naman magets yung hype kung bakit ganon na sobrang hype na hype siya. Sobrang ganda gito, ganyan. Nagustuhan ko siya kapag naka-focus yung subject niya, pero other than that, hindi na. Now for the camera, I know you guys saw all of those photos. You actually get to play a lot of various modes, including beauty, bokeh, AR shot, 
portrait mode, panorama, auto HDR, and wide. Dito talaga ako impressed na impressed sa phone na to. Yung camera niya. And you guys know how much I love yung mga camera ng mga phones. Like talaga yun yung una kong tinitignan. Sobrang solid. It has triple camera and a 32 megapixel front camera. I super highly suggest this phone for vlogging. Kasi guys, ang ganda ng appearance ko sa camera. Nakita niya naman like sobrang blooming. Ewan ko, there's something about this phone na sobrang, ewan ko, pinapaganda ko kahit nasa stress na ako ngayon. And then also for the rear camera, hindi siya ganun stable when it comes to the video. Pero I highly suggest to use a tripod kasi ang ganda ng quality. So, so mag a ka nga lang kahit pa paano. The Infinix S4 has like 4000mAh battery capacity. The huge battery life should easily last for more than a day for most users. Pero for light to moderate users like me, like social media, internet lang, tapos camera lang yung ginagawa ko, I think this phone will last you for not more than 2 days. Okay guys, so here's the question. Is the Infinix S4 a perfect phone? Absolutely no. But does it get the job done for a phone at its price market? Absolutely yes. So yes, the Infinix S4 is a true successor of the Infinix S3 from last year. With a 2019 refresh and design down to its glass sandwich view. With a triple camera at the back and a water drop notch. What it says on paper, ganun na ganun rin siya habang ginagamit ko na. So that's it for today's video guys. Sana nagustuhan niyo yung ating unboxing and quick review of the Infinix S4. Again, pasensya na kung medyo na late ako with this phone. Ang tagal, ang layo kasi ng bahay ko. Anyway, if you haven't been subscribed to my channel, mag-subscribe ka na kasi medyo marami kang namimiss na phone reviews and unboxing. Bye guys and see you on my next video.